Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. This is Yaya. Click that subscribe button, please. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. Y'all, we went to TJ Maxx. This TJ Maxx is a TJ Maxx Home Goods, and I like it because it has good stuff, but there's normally not a lot of people there. So I was really happy at the things we found. We found some nice, nice things, and the clearance, everything was clearance. I was so surprised. They had like rows and rows and like tables and tables and tables of clearance items. It was ridiculous. I'll stop rambling and I'll catch you at the end. Okay, we have a ton of the Lipstick Queens here for $4.99. We have a bunch of different shades and a bunch of different ones. So we have the um, Alternate Universe. We also have the Lip Gloss back there. We also have this TikTok, which we see a lot. I'm really intrigued by $3.99. We have some different shades also, kind of a mauve shade, orange shades, red. We have the Tinted lip elixir um, for $4.99 from lipstick queen we have some lick just found out it is not lick you it is a lick and these are going to be $3.99 we have a bunch of different shades also these are the metallic lipsticks and then we also have the lip mask back there we do have a bunch of the lime crime lip blazes here we've got clover ivy jade cali olive we've got the mary jane that red one these are all going to be $5.99. Got some Bare Minerals lipstick here for $5.99. This is the shade Sex Pot. We've got that Milani highlighter palette back there for $2.99. We do have some Laura Mercier here. This is a longwear concealer for $7.99. We've seen this before. This is a matte eye color in the shade Ginger. Looks like the only shade that they have right now. We do have some Urban Decay concealers for $6.99. They're all light warm and then one medium light warm back there. We've got the Anastasia lip glosses. I love these. $6.99. We also have a liquid glow back there. These are the shades. We've got rum, dusty lilac, and grape jelly. And then we also still have the Pro Contour from Benefit for $9.99. I like these a lot. We do have some NARS lipsticks here in Miramar and Maltese Red. We've seen these before for $7.99. We've got some Urban Decay back here. This is going to be $6.99 in the shade Yellow. And then I do see some NARS back here, $7.99. We have the shade First Time and Risky Business. Okay, so that one is First Time. The middle one is Risky Business. And then we have a Satin Lip Pencil for $5.99 and that is what that shade looks like this is the shade biscayne park we've seen this before we do have the lip mousses here in boom and wavelength from urban decay for 4.99 we also have a vice lipstick here in the shade x-ray for 7.99 we've got grace back here from uma we've seen this before 9.99 smith and colt back there this is a high pigment lip gel in the shade blush i've seen a lot of smith and colt clearance lately this is going to be 5.99 though we do have a tutti frutti liquid eyeshadow here in the shade shade sweet spot this is going to be $9.99 we've also got some more bare minerals here in $9.99 and this is the shade orange blossom and we've got a Laura Geller randomly here for $5.99 this is in the shade Caribbean cruise and then we do have those Kaja eye pigments for $2.99 those are what those shades look like we do have these elf HD powders I've tried them before I think $2.99 can't say I remember if I love them this is pretty, a cream foundation from e.l.f. for $2.99. And then I really, um, I kind of want this bronzer. This is the Primer Infused Bronzer. And this one is $2.99 for this one. We also have a little Lonely Milk Stick here for $3.99. We've got some Bobbi Brown. This is a lip gloss for $9.99 in the shade Bellini. We've seen this before. We've got some Smith & Colt. This is a brow, um, what is it, brow powder. This is going to be in the shade Light Warm Brown for $4.99. We've got some Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick here for $7.99 in the shade Crucifix. We've got some more of these blotting papers. I've seen these before. These are going to be $2.99. We have some Quinn's Brown Sugar Organic Ingredients. It's a lip scrub, $4.99. Y'all, I'm so upset. I just found this. It's empty. Someone probably stole it. It's the Cara ES2515 Smoky Rose, probably $7.99 like their other palettes. Hoping I can find that though. Nothing else looks really great here. We do have a Laura Geller over here, Nude Attitude. That's what that looks like, and that's going to be $7.99. We do have a little e.l.f. set here. This is going to be $3.99, and you'll get 
three little duos and a brush. We've got some bare minerals here. This is the Bounce and Blur eyeshadow palette. This is going to be $9.99. We also have this bronzer here. I kind of want to check it out. $9.99 for that. And then we still have all of these highlighters and everything. These are going to be $9.99. Those are the shades you'll get. We have this MAC Travel set that we have seen a number of times for $19.99. And then we do have the Lorac um, Perfection Foundation for $6.99. These are going to be the shades that they have. We have this Stila here. This is the bronzer. It doesn't have a price. It looks like the boxes are missing. But if you can find this, it's absolutely beautiful. I have one. I paid full price. We've got some liquid eyeshadows here from Stila for $6.99. These are the shades that they're going to have. And then we do have this little duo set for $7.99. Not super familiar with this brand, but it looks like they have a nice color range here. So we've got some lip glosses for $3.99. We have a foundation for $5.99. More foundation, $5.99. We have these powder blushes for $4.99. And we have a highlighter, pressed highlighter here. This is going to be $5.99. There's two separate shades. We have Moon Dust Monty and Champagne Charlie. And then we do have some intense matte lipsticks here. These are going to be $3.99. Also have a Too Faced Melted Lipstick. I like their melted lipsticks. $5.99 in the shade Give It To Me. We have a Lonely Milk Foundation Stick for $2.99. And then we do have the Smashbox Vita Glow, which we've seen before for $6.99. And an Uma Stick. I love these. I think I have this one. $10.99 for the Bronze Venus. We have Marc Jacobs. This is a concealer and touch-up stick for $9.99. This is in the shade Tan. And then we have this Paw Paw collection that we've seen before for $14.99. And then we've been seeing a few of these lately in different shades, but these are the Cake Pops from Benefit. I didn't realize they were from Benefit, y'all. Anyway, this is $14.99. Okay, I did find a Cara Beauty palette. It does not fit in there, so I don't know where that one is, and I don't know where the packaging is for this one. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to assume it's $7.99 like my other ones, and this is ES3. And then we do have some more Lequeux here. These are lip masks, and in the shade Wonderful, we've got Anastasia Foundation Stick here. There's no price on that one, sorry. We've got some Lime Crime here, Liquid Highlight $3.99, and this is in the shade Blue Ice. And then we do have some more Milk back here. I like the Milk Lipsticks. This is in the shade Hype, $5.99. We do have some Smith & Colt Foundations. I've seen these on clearance. Oh, this one's clearance too, $6.00. And then we do have some Kevin Aqua. This is Glass Glow Face. And this is going to be $17.99. We've got some Milk Liquid Foundation back here. This is $9.99 for that one. We have the Elf Foundations, which I love. $2.99 for those. We do have some more Bare Minerals. This is a blush. This is going to be $7.99. I look at this Highlighter Joy a lot. It's gorgeous. I haven't bought it though. $9.99. We have some Glow Inner Beauty Powder. $14.99. And then y'all, this Purr Palette, you know I bought it and I am obsessed. $4.99. If you find it, buy this. We do have a little Bento here. This is in the shade Chocolate Dolly. I believe I have this one. $3.99. I like those. We do have some pretty vulgar blushes here. I have some pretty vulgar blushes and I like them. $7.99. We have some Laura Geller Filter Corrector and this is going to be $4.99. We still have the Lilac Flash $14.99. These should be clearance soon because the rest of the Smith & Cold I've seen is clearance. We do have this in the shade number two, and there's also number one and number three. These are going to be $8.99. Nothing new over here as far as mascaras. I feel like we always see the same mascara products, and then the lashes pretty much seem to be about the same. These are new. I feel like these ones are new. We haven't seen these. These are going to be $3.99. We do have some Morphe lashes here. We have um, Malibu, and these are going to be $5.99. And then we have some back here. These are Sephora. These are $3.99. We have some Morphe in Bel Air also. And there's some more Sephora back there. We still have Dahlia, Hollywood. We have the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder for $14.99. They're all in the shade Light. And then we do have this Kevin Aqua Neo Blush Grapevine. Uh-oh. This is going to be $12.99. And this is what that set looks like. It's super, super pretty. And it's only $12.99. So I feel like that's a good price for Kevin Aqua. We have this Laura Mercy. We've seen this before. And this is a pretty highlighter. This is going to be $30. We also have this Estee Lauder Travel Exclusive. That's really pretty. I like their travel sets, $29.99. 
And then y'all, I think this is the one I wanted, $30. Ugh, I didn't buy this the last time I saw it and I kept kicking myself in the ass because it was only $30 and look at it, it's broken up. I might still buy this. We do have a Purr Out of the Blue eyeshadow palette for $4.99. I guess this is what those shades look like. I like the quality of their makeup. Oh, here we go, right here. So I feel like this might be a good buy. Okay, so this is what it looks like in there. I can't open this side. I might get this for the girls. It looks pretty big. I feel like there's more to it. And we do have some Marc Jacobs highlighters. I've actually heard amazing things about these. This is the shade Jelly Much. This is gonna be $9.99 and then this is in oh both jelly much okay like i said those smith and colts are on clearance four dollars and this is one of the glitter shots we have a bare minerals on clearance back here for eight dollars cover fx i have seen on clearance also this one's eight dollars we do have some Smashbox. I love their primer. $7 for this, y'all. If you didn't catch our other videos, these were on clearance. I bought three of them, $2. All the donuts are on clearance as far as I know. And then we actually have the blushes on clearance, $6. I have this one. I love the quality, so I might pick this one up. We've got some other, we've got foundations on clearance for $3. Then the Smith & Colt foundations also all on clearance. They're over here. We have a NARS foundation clearance at $8. Oh no, this is not the, this is the um, sculpting duo that I actually love and have. And this is $8. And this is the Coco Cabana and Sardini Beach. This is beautiful. I love that one. That Kevin Aqua is on clearance and that's going to be $20. We've got, what is this, Car Beauty, $3. I have to get this, I don't even know what it is. We've got the Chili um, Palette, $4.50 on clearance, and then all of this Kevin Aqua is all on clearance now, and I've seen it on clearance at other stores, $10 and then the palette is $16. Not a major brush selection, but I have purchased a brush set here before and I actually love it. They do have this e.l.f. set here and I like e.l.f. brushes a lot. This is gonna be $12.99 and this is a 10 piece set. But like I said, I bought the brushes for the girls and I actually really love the quality. $4.99, we've got a little Kabuki and Blender for $5.99. This is cute, this is gonna be $5.99 for that set. These are really pretty. This is $5.99 also. Okay, we do have some Bosha. This is a Rose Water Mist, $7.99. We've got some Bliss. This is a Clarifying Overnight Gel Mask, $4.99. And then we have another mask for $4.99 from them. We have more Bliss down here. Oh, that's cute. Uh, glow Cleanser with Lychee. This is some kind of ball thing, $2.99. We do have some milk products here, $5.99 for this. This e.l.f. is $2.99, and then this e.l.f. is also $2.99. We've got another e.l.f. back here. This one is a primer mist for $3.99. And then we have a Dr. Jart Beauty Balm for $14.99 back there also. You know, I love Dr. Jart, but I'm not a big fan of these masks that are just like the little individual piece you put somewhere. And they're kind of expensive, $5.99. This was $5.99 also. We do have a nice vitamin C mask here for $3.99. I've come to find that the more generic brands have better masks, in my opinion. Have some Aveeno here, $3.99. Oh, we've got some pore strips, and these are going to be $3.99. We do have a glitter peel mask, and this is a pore cleaner for $3.99. A jelly cleanser for $2.99 and a mattifying mask for $4.99. So we have more clearance over here. So we've got a lot more donuts and a lot more blushes and glitter shots over here. So I would highly recommend checking out your TJ Maxx and seeing what you can find since Christmas is over. At Kevin Aqua, we've got some bare minerals back here. We saw that one. These lashes are really pretty. We see these a lot, but these are all clearance to $3 right now. Some of those lipstick queens that we've seen are clearance to $4. We've got some carb, $2, man. What the crap? We do have some more Uma over here, clearance to $6. Smith & Colt, $4. I think this was a brow thing. Yeah, built brows. We've got some mascara back here. It's the Urban Decay mascara on clearance for $8. We've got this e.l.f. Active palette here, clearance for $2 only. Oh, we do have some Jula lippies back here. These are only $3. Ooh la la and pout. And then we also have this shade over here. Very pretty. Just a heads up because we do have a lot of clearance brushes y'all after the holidays. There's just so much. $3 for these brushes. $3 for that. This one's going to be $3 also. This one is going to be $5.50. 
We've got some julep brushes over here, $4 for those. This one is $4. They're pretty nice, actually, $5.50. We've got this little Real Techniques holder for $3. Okay, and then I feel like after the holidays, we just aren't seeing that much perfume like we were. I feel like we were just seeing a crazy amount. We do have some little Juicy Couture roller balls for, are these roller balls? I think they are for $9.99 but otherwise I'm just not really seeing anything that's like oh yeah I need to show all of you this stuff because it's this is all there is honestly okay y'all and I just wanted to show y'all all this stuff really quickly all of this stuff is clearance all of those nail polishes we've got all of this like microderm abrasion stuff over here these hair straighteners all of this stuff that soap that soap those um, micro needle things they're all clearance this is all clearance these are all clearance too so i would definitely say go and check out your tj maxx as soon as possible because they've got a ton of stuff twenty dollars for the bare minerals we've been seeing for a while and then over here we have two more tables of items that are all clearance there's just it's a crazy amount of stuff that's clearance Hey everybody. Okay, so y'all know I am so obsessed with Cara Beauty just because the quality is there and it's so, so inexpensive at TJ Maxx. So I was super happy when I found this, but then there was nothing in it. And then I found this palette, but there was no packaging to it. So I did Google while I was in the store what these look like. And I brought this up to the front to help reference for the cashier because I was going to buy this one. Yeah, um, but this palette here, what should have been in here was gonna be $3.99. No, 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 this is one of my favorite highlighters. Um, should be $3.99, it's a pretty eyeshadow palette. I think it had 15 shades in this palette, but for some reason, they only charged me $3.99, even though I explained that these don't go together because clearly there's a size difference. So, I got a great deal on this because this is the other palette that I got from Cara Beauty. And this is what it looks like, but it has a big mirror in it. And the packaging is different. This is more of the cardboard type of packaging with like a little magnetic closure. This one is really heavy duty. It's plastic and you snap it closed. It has a smaller mirror and it has two brushes on the side. So I feel like this might should have been more than $7.99 because this palette was $7.99. Anyway, I I'm rambling to just tell y'all, show y'all, talk about the differences between them. Okay, so I am gonna do a few swatches from this one. And this palette, I don't know the name or anything. All I know is it is ES3. It's very, very pretty neutral tones. You've got some purples in there but it's just a gorgeous, they remind me so much of Morphe, y'all, but it's just a gorgeous palette. I'm just gonna swatch a few. I feel like these two shades are really calling to me. I really wanna see how this purple, it's cream, or this pink, not purple. Mama. It's very creamy. Yeah, your lipstick. And then let's go ahead and see how these blacks, we've got two different blacks here. Let's just swatch this one and see. They're very, very creamy, but so we can see how these perform or if they're a different formula. So I feel like the quality is always there with Cara Beauty, even though it's super, super inexpensive. What I will say I've noticed about these palettes is this is kind of rose gold here. So the packaging would have been rose gold. On whatever palette this was supposed to be, the writing on the actual packaging would have been this shade because with this one, they're gold and gold. So they all seem to correspond with each other. But I really love the quality of Car Beauty and then found this in the clearance section. So you know I had to get it. I did Google to see what it looked like just because normally I would buy anything Car Beauty, right? But I couldn't open this to see and I don't want to get a palette that's like all blue shades because I would never ever use that. So it comes like all of the others where it just has this paper thing that slides out. And this is the Embrace Me eyeshadow palette. And it's that cardboard type of packaging where the other one was more of a heavy duty plastic and it does come with a little mirror. Let's swatch some of these. The, the shades are just super, super pretty though like very very pretty I felt like this is a palette I would use I'm just gonna go in with this this middle row here it doesn't say the names of oh yeah no no it doesn't say the names of the eyeshadows on there so these eyeshadows are super super creamy too but that's what that middle row is gonna look like and let's just find a place to swatch it here I'll swatch it right here very pretty. I I love the quality of of their stuff and like I said clearance $3 
Yes, please. Also, on a completely different note, y'all, you know, I've talked about it before. I got this facial. It was horrible. My face was burned. I had like huge burn marks on my face, like turned into scabs. It was very traumatic, so I think that's why I talk about it a lot. But afterwards, I'm red in here. Never had that issue before. Never had redness before. What do I do to fix that? Or what skincare can I find to try to combat that? Or makeup that will combat that? Because I never had to use like a color corrector before and I feel like now I'm gonna have to so I'm kind of freaking out about that let me know in the comments because I'm I'm a I'm very concerned about it that's why I didn't wear makeup because I wanted to ask y'all because y'all come through with the answers let's just be honest here and then anyway okay so another car beauty find two dollars for the lip gloss I've tried the lip gloss before and I do like it this is in the shade Venus I don't remember what shade I have um, but this is what that one looks like more of a fuchsia ish pink Let's swatch it and see. I mean, the pigment is just like there's crazy, crazy pigment there for it to be a lip gloss crazy pigment. I didn't put any lipstick on today, so we don't have a lipstick of the day, but we're gonna try this one on and see how this looks. Okay, y'all, this is what it looks like. I did two dippy dippies because one just wasn't covering enough since my lips are so dark, but for $2, I feel like this is super, super pretty. Also, y'all, let me show you really quickly. Don't judge my craziness over here, but my husband got me a vanity impressions mirror. I will say they sell these at TJ Maxx, but they are more expensive there because you can find them on sale at the website, but this is super pretty. Also, if you have a suggestion on like makeup brush setups let me know because I definitely need that okay so the last thing I got was this well wait a minute I got a lot more stuff that I did not or I'm not showing you because my brother moved into his own place so I did go and I picked up like bedding and trash cans and hanging things and I actually bought a lot of stuff so a lot of the makeup I picked up and was like oh yeah I'm getting this I was like girl calm down because I knew I was gonna go over to the home good side and spend a buttload of money trying to get him set up into his new place oh, so that. this is the last thing that I got it is Kevin Aqua it was only $12.99 and I think I have a Kevin Aqua lipstick that is the only thing that I have from him and I just kind of wanted to try something and some of the other things that I've seen at TJ Maxx they don't really scream to me so I don't want to waste the money on it because his stuff is expensive even though it's at TJ Maxx. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's so, so pretty, y'all. I feel like these blushes, I don't know how it's all gonna look swirled together, but individually, I feel like you have a very light over here, obviously, and then it goes down in that gradient form. And we've seen two palettes that were similar to this on, so this is going on the Shopping with Shannon channel, so hey to that channel, but I think it was the oh, Twin Times 2 channel, we saw a lot of these type of palettes in bigger form and they were very pretty but also cost a lot more. They were probably three times the size of this. Anyway, check the check out the Twins Times 2 channel because we have a lot of shopping videos there and all of the kids if you want to check them out too. This is it. Let's, I'm gonna, how do you swatch something like this? Let's rub it all together and see what we get and then we'll do some individuals. So the quality feels nice. It just comes out to be this shade. It just comes out to be this shade here. And then let's find a place to swatch it. So it's right there at the bottom. It's a very light pink shade. I feel like on my skin tone with a light hand, that would give a nice flush of color. It's actually showing up more pigmented than I expected it to be. Oh, Coco, you got makeup? What makeup do you have? Oh, she got some chapstick. What about your eyeshadow palette? Oh yeah, so pretty, Coco. Anyway, let's go ahead, and I'm just gonna do four fingers this way. So we'll just go like, like this? I don't know. It just, it feels, it actually feels really nice. Wow, look at the difference, like the color difference, the color range in that. I kind of, I don't know. Clearly you should expect that, right? But I kind of was not expecting that. Okay, so let's swatch those really quick and see how they look. Okay, so that's two swatches there. I went through and I did another swatch. I just looked at my fingerprints to see where exactly they were at, but I like this. I like this a lot. If I could find another one of these, I would definitely, definitely. Oh yeah, you're showing your swatches? Nice, that's nice, girl. I would definitely buy more of these. If I could find them, I would. I like that, I like that concept. The bigger palettes that I saw when I was filming for the Twins Times 2 channel, I felt like those shades weren't really gonna work for me and it was like two of the same shades and then gradually went into one other shade. So not much of a difference like this one. I like how it just, there's, 
there's multiple options because I don't want two of the same thing. I never hit pan on anything. It's very rare. So I like um, I like that this changes all the way instead of having like light, light, and then going in to the darker pink. Um, anyway, I feel like this is a really good find for $12.99. If you can find this, I would recommend this because I feel like this would look good on any skin tone. I mean, look at it. If you're darker than me, you could still use this. You could use the darker shades here, those mauve shades. If you're lighter than me, this would look perfect. I think on my skin tone, this will look perfect. I kind of want to try it. Should I try it? Let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just try it. Let's try it. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the end side where it's a little bit darker. Yeah, I feel like, like if I had foundation or like primer or something on where it could like actually stick, that is a pretty little wash of color on me. Let's try the other side and see. Oh, you want some? Okay, there you go. There you go. Let's try the lighter side and see how the lighter side looks on my skin tone. Ah, uh, I don't know. Oh, it's kind of caking up powdery. It's getting, I'm not going to lie, it's getting a little powdery in there, but I am kind of doing a lot of swirlies. I don't know, maybe with foundation, but I definitely, I like this shade better than the lighter shade, but I feel like maybe if I swirled with the lighter shade into the, let's swirl into the, let's swirl. Let's do a swirl. Oh yeah, that makes a difference. So that's what I'll do. I'll do a, I'll do a light and a little swirly. A light and a little swirly swirl, you know? Love it! Very much so, love this. Okay y'all, so that's all of the stuff that I got. I'm super, if you find Cara Beauty, buy it. Let me know in the comments what you got. Don't forget to check out our other channel, Twins Times 2. And then we do have an Instagram for both pages. The Shopping with Shannon Instagram is strictly Strictly shopping stuff. And then the Twins Times 2 is more based around our family. So I know a lot of y'all love the kids and just think that they're the cutest thing. Because they are. They're kind of bad. But they are the cutest. They are the cutest. So I do post more personal content or pictures. Stuff like that on that page. Although I'm not very good at keeping up with Instagram. Anyway, that's all the stuff that we got. It's New Year's Day right now. So I also want to just wish everybody a happy New Year. If you had a rough year, I hope that it gets better for you. If you had a great year, then congratulations. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. We had a very good year. I'm going to ramble on about how all of the milestones and accomplishments that we've had as a family. So I'm just going to end it there. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and all those good things. Bye.